What's going on YouTube? This your boy Rambo with Somewhere Fishing. And if you stumble onto this channel, you either was bored or you might be one of my thousands of subscribers who just want to stop by and see what I'm up to. Not really, I only got a hundred subscribers, but I'm working on it though. But today, I'm gonna show y'all what in my opinion is the best limb line, trot line on YouTube. I'm also gonna put the websites uh, on Amazon, how you can get it shipped directly to your house, everything I'm using. Right now, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be using. All right, see right here, I got the saltwater swivels, the number six rolling barrel swivels. They're pretty heavy. I think they're like 335 pound test. You might say it's overkill, but if you fish wild fish and you get snagged up, your leader lines get snagged up, you can bend your hook and still pull them up. You won't break your swivel or your line. They come in packs of 120, as you can see how many lines I done made. So we're gonna be using those. And I have a link to get those in the description. Then we got the paracord. I mean, you can get a big roll like this. I had a link to the big roll, but you can also find it at your local Walmart. 50 foot. You can make get two lines out of this. I make my lines 25 foot long, so I can get two out of this. But you catch them on sale, and look at that price, $3.30. And this stuff is tough, man. Don't really break on you. Don't really rot. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how to put it together. And I already got a couple made, but that's not what y'all came here to see, y'all. Y'all came here to see me make one so i'm gonna show y'all so right now first thing you want to do get your paracord unroll it measure you out 25 feet the way i measure i really just i don't use a measurement tool i use my wingspan so i figure my wingspan is six feet so I just take it, put my hands together like this, on the end, pull it out. Then I drop this in, and the end where I pinch, that's six feet. Then I do it again. Drop my right hand, that's 12 feet. Do it again, drop my hand, that's 18 feet. Now I do it one more time, stretch my hand out, that's 24 feet. Then, where this hand at right here, I just eyeball a foot, and then I cut it. Cut. You might want to burn your ends, but I'm at work in the hotel. I don't want to set the smoke alarm off. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and put your swivels on. So I'm just making three hook lines. I make three hook lines so I can put more out. I can hit different areas. So I can hit different areas real fast. So right here, put my first swivel on. One. Two and that's three. You can put as many as you want, but like I said, I'm just making three three hook lines. So, so you grab all of them, right? You get from your end, then you measure out eight feet. I like making mine eight feet to my first hook because I like tying mine high on the limb. So, you eyeball, take this end. And you hold all three of these swivels in this hand and pull it out. You measure with your wingspan. Okay, that's six feet. So I'm going to eyeball two more feet. So let's say, I'm going to say that's two feet. And what you want to do when you get your eight feet is tie you a couple knots. 
so the first rule can't slide back, see? That's one knot. But if I leave the one knot on there, the swivels will go past it. So I'm gonna tie two knots. You got your one knot. So now you move your other two down the line and we'll come back to them in a minute. We're just gonna set them up there. So now tell you another knot. Two more knives. Right. Right, see now you got your got your swivel right there. That's how that works. It's your main line. It's your main line. So what you would do in the sake of time for this video, you could either go three feet and put you Make this a four hook line. But I'm gonna go six feet because it's gonna be a three hook line. So stretch it out. Hold this right here. With this one done. So I'm gonna hold it at that knot right there. And go six feet. And I'm gonna make my other knot and pull this all the way back through. I'm my first knot, tighten it up, cinch it down, and do my second knot. All right. And once you get this going pretty good, you can go a little faster once you figure out what you're doing. It's really it's time consuming, but it's worth it when you see a big fish on the line. So, that's your second one. I mean, I could tie it in the line, but you wouldn't get that action right there if you tied it in the line. So, I'm gonna go six more feet and do the last one. Grab it right here, hold this swivel right here, pull it out, wingspan, six more feet. And once you get to this end, you can tie from this way. So you don't have to pull the whole paracord and the other swivels back through. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. If y'all got any tips how y'all make y'all lines, drop them in the comments. I fish in small rivers. These work in small rivers and big rivers because they so long. I have been tangled up in a small river using these though, but I mean the the tensor strength is so tough, I get untangled easy. I almost pull up a whole log. So Okay, you got all three of them on there. See, the opposite end, it's not really, I say it's about four feet. So when you make these, you'll know, do not tie your weight to the eight foot end. You get the smaller end, you can tie any, any kind of weight right here. I mean, you can use anything. Really, if you don't have nothing, you can use a rock, but I wouldn't use a rock. You can go to Walmart and buy the little five pound weights. Or just find something just laying around. You can you can do it like that. But yeah, that's how you make it, man. 
like I said, it's 25 feet. I'm in a small area, so I can't pull it all the way out. But what you're ready for now is the trot line drops. If you, I had a link in the descri description for everything I use, and I also had a link in the description how I make the trot line drops to go with these. So yeah, if you like this, you think this is a tough cord. You think this is a tough limb line? This is the toughest limb line on uh, YouTube? Let me know. Even if you think it's not the toughest limb line on YouTube, or whatever y'all call them, bush hooks, whatever. I call them limb lines because I tie them to the limb. If you think they're the toughest, give me a like and a comment. If you don't think they're tough or you got something better, man, give me some ideas. I'm all about learning. All right? You've been watching Somewhere Fishing? And I'm out.